Greetings hobbyists, this is Arslan Zavol, and in this quick tip video we're going to have a look if the size of the objects you're booleaning is going to make a difference in how well your booleans work out. So this is based on something that got mentioned to me when I was having a chat with someone about Blender, and they mentioned that when boolean objects or the faces and boolean objects were bigger, that this tended to make it more reliable. And in this example that we used in a previous video to make a concrete texture, this has been subdivided, which means if I apply it, we've got lots and lots of tiny faces. And I would agree that generally smaller faces do have a tendency to cause more problems. I'm gonna apply that one as well. So my question was, if that's true, if we just scale objects up, is that gonna make booleaning more reliable and have better results? So I wanted to have a go and see, and I thought I'd share the results with that. Now I should say that I haven't done this yet, but I will show the results whatever happens because it's good for people to know so they don't have to try it out themselves. So at this point, we've got our three objects. And if you want to know how to create these objects with this deformed shape that we're gonna to use to create a concrete texture, there is a video on that in the top right-hand corner and in the description. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab these, I'm gonna shift and D, X, bring that to the side, and then I'm just gonna press S, and then on the number pad, I'm gonna type in 10, so it's 10 times the size. Oh, now, if you have this problem where you zoom out and you can't see an object, or also if you zoom in and you sort of lose parts of your object, that's to do with your view settings. So if you press N, come to view, you can see this clip start and end. And the reason that's going invisible at this point is that I'm getting more than a thousand away. So if I change this up, so let's say 6,000, now I can zoom much further out and it'll still be visible. You can also, if I just bring that back to 1,000, you can see this actually also affects the other elements of your display. For example, here we can see the Y axis green line only comes up to about here. If I type in 6,000, then we can see it much further. So just a little trick to help with that. Then I'm gonna grab these objects and shift D again, X, and then once again, I'm gonna S and type in 10. So what we've got now is the original object, which is scaled to be in, well, basically millimeters. So it's very small with just single blender units. Then we've got this, which if I look at the size, this is gonna be much larger in terms of its dimensions. So 10 times the size and this one's gonna be 100 times the size of the original. Now, I'm not sure if this will have an effect, but I would say at this point, I think the calculations, if I Boolean these and these together, would be exactly the same because we've got the scale is the thing that's making it larger. So I am gonna grab those, control in the A and apply the scale, so that's down to one, and then exactly the same with these objects as well. So control in A and scale, so they're down to one. So if this does work, that's gonna be a stage of this that you're gonna to need to do. And then to make sure everything's exactly the same, I'm gonna click the top one. Then the second, I'm gonna use ball tools. So I'm not using any add-ons other than things that come with Blender. So control and minus to do a difference Boolean, H to hide it. And then the same again with the bottom one, H to hide it. And then for this, I'm going to apply all so that it makes this permanent. And then we're gonna do the same with the 10 times object, control and minus H, second one, control and minus, H and then apply all and then the same with the larger version so top object being differenced H bottom object being differenced H so let's go in and have a look to see which one's got the most problems or if it's all just the same and this doesn't actually help so we've got our smaller object and I'm going to click 3d print and then check all and let's see what happens so we've got zero non-manifold edges which is good 17 intersecting faces, and then 616 non-flat faces. Now, if you wanna know how we'd sort these, there is a video on that. This is what got me started on this. The link is in the top right-hand corner, and again, there's a link in the description. So let's go to our 10 times the size one. So check all. And we do noticeably have less intersecting faces, only four here. Interestingly, the non-flat faces have gone up, but generally that's less of a problem. So let's just quickly go into face mode check all and then have a look where these are so they're all just on this side i think yeah there we go and let's have a look at the smaller object and see where those are because importantly we haven't got any issues on this join which is the one where i'd expect the most issues to be so let's go into face mode check all and then let's have a look and yes we do have those issues here so it does appear that being a larger object and having the scale applied does make this more reliable and then I can just S to scale it by 0.1 and we've got it 
back to the same size. So this is a relatively quick thing to be able to do. And in theory, if I control and A, apply the scale and then check all again, we should still have less issues here. It shouldn't make up issues just because of scale changes. And that has indeed stayed the same, though actually the non-flat faces has gone down. That's quite interesting. So let's go on to the bigger one, apply all and then check all. Well, that is bizarre. So interestingly, this is now up to seven intersecting faces. So it does appear that actually the one that was just 10 times the size, so I'm just checking that I did apply the scale, is actually better. So there seems to be a perfect sort of zone for Booleans to actually work. So quite an interesting one. I'm just gonna S and 0 0.01 to get those to the same size. So that is interesting that that seems to have such a difference between the sizes and very interesting that the one that's in the middle just 10 times the size seem to be better with the results of the Boolean. So there we go, something to try. If you are having issues with your Booleans, it may be worth scaling up all the objects, applying the scales, and then trying the Booleans again, and then just scaling it back down. If you do give that a go, please write something in the comments section. I'd be really interested to hear your results on that. And if you do know why it is that certain sizes appear to be better for Boolean functions than others, do please say, I'd be really interested to know, because while it's good to know what happens, it's always even better to know why that is. So I hope that's useful to you and have a great day guys.